What's going on guys? Black Halo here. Today we are back playing some ranked. But yeah, this is the first Udir video that I have for patch 8.22. So if you do enjoy it, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button. I would very much appreciate it because I will be pumping up plenty of Udir content. You know, like I always do. But if you are interested in seeing more Udir videos from me, the season's almost over. So I will be pumping out like season 9 or preseason nine content to let you guys know the best setups. If you want to know those before anybody else, hit that subscribe button because I use all of the resources that are available to me that keep the static updates when it comes to best runes, best builds, things of that nature. I know the websites like u.gg, op.gg, things of that nature. You know, champion gg, they all have it. So I'll compile it all into a mobile fire guide or into my videos usually both for you guys to just know and then you'll see it in action with the videos and it's pretty hypey it gets pretty hypey with the damages that come out so ideally I will get the scuttle crab here I'm gonna talk to you about the route because this is a pretty good route here because what I'm gonna do instantly is just pour it back because I clear red I clear red um wolves blue into gromp and now i'm gonna just go back i'll be able to have just enough for skirmishers what is going on by holy okay we got first blood all right i like it we'll have just enough for skirmisher saber off of this clear so that's why i like it it's a really good safe beginner route especially if you don't get invaded it's really ideal so it looks like Vi gank top and didn't get anything but a flash so that's pretty good we got first blood so super worth so the matches we have for today fizz top versus maokai vi versus udir in the jungle lee sin mid versus leblanc lucian bot versus bane and nautilus support versus zyra so this is the early game route so there are a lot of things that you can do early game but if you don't really have that much experience when it comes to ganking, which is perfectly understandable, you can get turtle stance like at level 3 and then just start clearing the jungle. I did choose to get it at level 4 to prioritize my Q damage, but this is something you can really do and opt into. With Udir is just to clear. You know, there's nothing wrong with farming up until you get a decent amount of levels. You know, levels is something you definitely want to prioritize. You can't really go wrong by doing this especially in lower elo you really can't go wrong like there are opportunities like here mid that i do want to take up i'm not too sure if this is warded okay we got a w out from that dude so not bad wasted his ability man if only he went in he got he used another ward so we just wasted both of his wards we know where they are they're just sitting mid lane so he really just has no idea when I gank next I might just go around this side and see if Vi is like chilling around the corner and here she is <laughs> speaking of her just so happened to talk about it <laughs> nice I don't think really LeBlanc minded about that so another tip that could help you guys out when it comes to climbing that wow all right so well, something i was gonna say is just mute all but you know vi literally just entered into me so that's fine you know <laughs> like she burned her flash for one kill but i was gonna say that a good strat you guys could do in these games is to mute all and focus on objectives and focus on your own play because you don't really need to worry about what your teammates do so I'm going to do it now. I just do slash mute all. Everybody will be muted. But the only con I'll see about this is you'll still see the pings. But it also can be a plus to see if your team actually uses summoners. Or a ping summoners, I mean. But a lot of the times, though, like, it's really good to, like, time summoners and chat. To, like, say, um, say a flash. Somebody flashes and I know it, I'll time it five minutes after. Or if I were to, um, ping it. Or something like that when they use it like the enemy team if they use a summoner just ping it in chat it's really good to do that so I'll be pathing from Gromp to Wolves here I got Tiamat because I know that um that Vi doesn't have flash 
So if I do get in a skirmish with her, I don't really have to worry about having super sustained damage because I can catch up to her. And also, I really do want to get to clearing more camps. I would have liked to get this Cuddle Crab, but I don't want to let my red sit for too long. And it looks like Vayne is literally... Okay. She got that all under control. That's what I like to see right there. That's pretty nice. <laughs> pretty ideal. Because I did lose a few rank flex games. I was really close to being uh, into my goal. Four promos for rank flex. I'm, I'm rank... Uh, I'm ranked higher in solo queue by the way. I've just been playing rank flex because the end of the season, you know, I'm trying to chill out. We make an informational Udir build videos, Udir ruins, things of that nature. Because this is really what you want to do in the early game. You want to look for ganks, you want to farm, you also want to clear the early game route that I showed you guys about. It's good for beginners. So this could be a very good reference video to be honest for you guys. To just check back out because it works it really works so yeah as you can see um actually i forgot to ping out by slash now that i think about it i'm not gonna bother ganking this lane i mean diving this either because fizz has his e playful trickster so he'll just go untargetable when i go into the turret so it's fine i'll just get a couple long swords actually what i'll do is just uh, i'll get boots Cover the map faster. I know that my blue is up. I really should have. What I should have did here is just like go to my golems and then back. I could have farmed better, you know. Like every single game by me isn't perfect. <laughs> you know, neither is he. Apparently. So we do just need to keep our eyes on the map so we can see where to capitalize. I've been looking at all of my lanes pretty much. So it's good to keep good awareness in that department okay we see Vi clearing this all right I took the dragon too I'll get the kill nice she doesn't have flash I just flashed back over the wall <laughs> he kicked me over like you'd actually be able to kill me not today bro <laughs> not today that was pretty worth for me holy if you guys are enjoying the content so far, man, just hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. I really do appreciate it, for sure. Because I'm really passionate about the game. I play a lot of Udir. I play a lot of League of Legends, period. And yeah, if you are watching this video and you are a subscriber, though, much appreciated for you sticking around. I will let you guys know, though, like of my upload schedule. I'm not planning on uploading on Friday. Today is Thursday, as long as this goes up according to schedule. It should though, it really should. But yeah, I mean, I'm not planning on uploading on Friday because I could use a day off, one, and two. I mean, I don't wanna take a day off, I really don't, honestly. But I just have to work so much, you know, like, and then I wanna just take a break so I can actually like chill. And I, I work like, I don't even know how many hours I've worked, but I've worked a lot, <laughs> so she has, to, she has to go over the wall here, or, well, she smited, it, that's fine. I just lagged there. But if you guys do not want to know about my uh, work-life balance, I'll let you know. Alright. Dang, man, I just got capitalized on, like, three people. Three, lol, okay. <laughs> three people need to take me out. That's what's necessary, man. All three. All freaking three of them from top, mid, and jungle. Gotta run over there just to help out Vi, right? I didn't even know they were all over there, to be honest. I was like so focused on talking about like work and stuff like that. Because I've been spending time grinding. You know, if I don't put the work in, I won't get the bag. Simple as that, you know? Simple as that. So, that's why I'm doing it. I'm, I do take like a couple. I will like have a schedule though for YouTube like I'm gonna upload on Monday through Thursday and then Saturday and I'll have um Sunday and Friday off so y'all can y'all can definitely find something to do on Friday cuz Friday is like fun day Friday fun day fun day freaking hype day y'all can you know have fun <laughs> that's really the goal man to just have fun with whatever you're doing you know 
if you're going through tough times or struggle times, you know, like it's not the end all be all. Simple as that. So I will just plan on getting ripped here out here. I'm focusing on objectives, man, as you can see. I got a little minor setback with that shutdown. But you know what they say, minor setback for a major comeback. That's what I like. But yeah. Udir has a lot of strengths early on. Like as you can see, he has a lot of single target damage with his uh, tiger stance. I really took that Rift Herald very quickly. Solo. We got Vayne dominating down there in the bot lane, so we don't have much to worry about, honestly. It's pretty good. My bot lane won for once, <laughs> you know. But they did just get wrecked, so this will be an interesting game for sure. It's not gonna be like completely one sided as you can see. Me and Vayne do have all the kills though. Like literally, we have all the kills. My bad for my phone vibrating, y'all. My um my volume rocker is mixed up. Like I got an iPhone, right? But it's like it's my sister's old phone to be honest. <laughs> like I gotta I gotta hand me down in a sense. Cause I didn't want to buy my own phone. But the only thing that's wrong with it is like whenever it I don't know why it does this, but like it triggers the silent and the ringer on its own. So you'll hear it like vibrate or I'll I just notice it's vibrating and then switching from silent to like having a volume. You know, like switches from uh yeah, I, I pretty much explained it, but I don't know why it does that, you know? Like I don't wanna get a new phone just for that, but sometimes I don't know when people are calling me and right now it's starting to get annoying. I might have to do something about it, but I really don't want to, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to buy a new phone, because I don't really... I mean, I like iPhones and stuff like that, but... It's just a lot of money, man. Like, <laughs> 650 or like, it's like $750 for the new iPhone. And I don't want to buy that when I already got, like, a phone that pretty much works. It's just, like, one issue with it, you know? And I think it's just, like, a physical defect. It's not, like, anything that happened over time. It's like, I don't know how it happened. And just wear and tear in a sense. Might have got dropped on the volume rocket. Man, this least thing is wrecking this LeBlanc, man. I know that he just um safeguarded. I can honestly dive this dude if I get a tiger dot ready. So this is a really good Udir combo. Like he won't expect this at all, but check this damage out. I have Q proc. I just flash or I'll I'll be able to walk up to him. He doesn't have ult. There we go, and he's dead. Really uh, fancy combo. You know, honestly, I didn't have to flash there, I don't think. But I really wanted to make it look good. <laughs> you know, style points, for sure. I see, I think Vi is bot. So Vi is bot, I'll go ahead and swan rifter out here. It's perfect, it's actually really good. So, we'll be able to get all of, well, we should be able to get like another turret here. We might be able to, well, I don't think we'll be able to get in hip turret, but. Rift Hero might do some damage to the Inhib turret, honestly, at this rate. Because we still are looking at them bot. You know, so this is a really good push. We're getting a lot of gold off of this? Like, where are they? Holy. Help me, help me, help me, help me. I need help. <laughs> like, I thought he root him or something, but I don't need it. I don't need it. I actually don't need help. Holy. I'll clear this camp for some health. Oh, I should have just went on the plant. I'm not going to, though. Oh, he he went ahead. Oh, yeah, I didn't want to even go back in. I didn't want to go in. I really did. Did not want to go in. But I didn't give up any shutdown, so that's decent. We almost got this turret, man. But the thing is, we have to push it again. That's really good. They got another turret off of that. We got a lot of gold. Like, I had like 3,000 gold at one point. But, yeah. I'll just try and push mid again or like push my outer lanes because this will regen. Dang, they got they got a fire drake. It looks like. Yeah, it looks like they got a fire drake. You know, I was dead. Nothing we could do about that. I mean, if I were to reset, if I were to reset mid there, you really do want to just try and get out of dodge once you get all those. But I could have like, I really honestly could have killed him with the blast cone if I did it right. But Lee Sin did have ulti too. That's something you got to consider. And then Nautilus was there to CC me. Like, I had a lot of CC threat there. So, that is definitely why it's a good thing to buy mercs for your jungle. I mean, not jungle item. For your, um, for your, what's it called item? For your, uh, 
boots, boot enchantment. When you have a big CC threat, Mercury Treads reduces the duration of stun, slows, taunts, fears, silences, blinds, polymorphs, by, and a more uh, mobilized or uh, by like a lot. Yeah, that's that playful trickster right there. We just burned it though. We burned the stopwatch, and he's dead. Free shutdown. Cause I noticed he did have a shutdown by hitting tab. That's something you do want to keep in mind though. Is hitting tab to see what items these people buy, see if they really have a threat. And he's really not a threat with uh, Morello's, cause it doesn't provide too much. It gives you health, a little bit of magic penetration. I mean, it's good for the late game. It's good to get it early too, because you know this dude had a lot of spirit or a lot of <laughs> a lot of spirit. He might have a lot of spirit though, you know. But he got that magic resist. So he wanted to get that magic penetration early, but it doesn't leave him with much base damage. So that's something to keep in mind. It gets you like 80 AP. I mean, you could have got something else. And we've got a stopwatch too. But I'm not a fizz main, you know, so I don't know exactly what to get that'll completely benefit him. Like benefit him more. I'm just trying to roam over here. Doesn't look like I'll be able to make it. So I just push the push the lane to try and get the turret. That's ideal. I'm down to go in here because I know that Fizz has no ult. And he just used playful again. <laughs> Hit him on the back with that Phoenix. If he could just get out, that'd be good. I'm too low, man. Oh she flashed, she flashed. Like I can't go over there. I'll die. There's too many people here. Like, push the bot, man. You should have pushed bot. I don't know why they weren't pushing bot. Because that's a free turret right there. I mean, they did kill the Lucian, though. That's worth That's worth, honestly. It's still a free turret, though. We should be able to get that because they're all still top side. We got. Uh, we have. Okay. We got a lot of gold off of that. That's really good. Like, we're doing very good, guys. And this is pretty much how you want to play Udir early game. You know, I made a few small mistakes, but it's it's forgivable. It's definitely something we can deal with, and it's doable. You know, like Udir has a lot of strengths early and late, and really he's strong pretty much every single point in the game as long as you just keep up with the levels. You want to keep up with CS as well, because as you can see, I got a decent amount. Like I got a laner's amount of CS at this rate, <laughs> because you know I see a lot of laners with this much farm, man. 170 at 20 minutes, man. Level 14 is looking pretty good for us. We're at the right places at the right time. We're CS and farming properly. So the only thing you want to not do here when you have this much of the lead is just not die. Simple as that. Like you just want to. You also there's more to do than not die though, honestly. Like here I can um. I'm trying to kill Lucian, but it's better for me not to focus on kills. And we should focus on objectives here and the proper rotations. I do have Triforce. So I just go bot and start pushing. Don't know what my team is really doing right now. I'm not going to worry about them because there's nothing I can do for them right here. They see where I am. Lucian literally just ran over there and got a kill or got two kills. He was just bot with me. It's not really too much I can do here. Not really. Vi is getting really tanky or relatively tanky. So what I'm gonna do here is just get my germs fist. So I can get Titanic. I'll start stacking HP. And then I'll get ZZ out. I'm planning to get ZZ out here. And I'm gonna have a super, super hard wave clearing build here. So I can push very fast. And then when I get to turrets, they get wrecked instantly. So this is the build. Like usually though, it's um it's also a good idea to go like um like um uh, what's it called skirmisher saber or uh, chilling smite into uh, warrior triforce and mercs. That's also a really good uh, static optimal udir build. But I'm just switching it up this game honestly. I'm trying to keep it fresh for y'all. You know. Got the cannon. Worth. We killed two people. Two for two. That's super worth. 
our team really does want to go and get Drake or not Drake. They really do want to um get the Baron. I know for a fact that I have this. Oh, I flashed on that dude. I almost got the Lucian, man. That was so close. But honestly, though, they should have. Y'all got easy. They got that by themselves. Easy peasy, man. We get the we get the Drake, super worth. Miscalculated a little bit with that flash. Actually, no, I don't think the flash, but I I just couldn't get to Lucian, man. Like I almost auto attacked him one more time. That's all he needed to go down. I wasn't able to make it to him, man. Not quite. So yeah, like I said, being able to double dot mid. I don't know if y'all realized what I um what I did there. I just remember what I did. I was trying to go over the combos and things of that nature though. I did talk about it to an extent. I didn't really break it down too much. I'm a waiting spawn. But the double dot, all you gotta do is just proc your Q. You just proc your Q, right? But you gotta wait for it to go back off on cooldown. So you need like a five second window depending on the cooldown. And then you walk up to the target, say Maokai, you auto attack him and then you wanna reactivate it with Q. And then you get double the damage off. So my my tiger dot is doing over it's doing a lot of damage. It's over six hundred damage. Nearly seven hundred freaking damage on one tiger Q. So that's why I'm not gonna bother getting more damage at the moment. I mean, you could you definitely could get more, you know. But I'm not gonna focus too heavily into that one field you know like i'm gonna diversify at this point <laughs> you know i'm a, um i'm gonna opt into getting uh durable i'm gonna get tanky prioritize the wave clear here we already got baron so i just start dropping pressure that's really all i gotta do right now get out of the jungle see that's a lot of damage already man i really don't feel like i need more i might get some more later but uh, if you do want some more damage a really good item you can get as well is Steric Gauge. The Steric Gauge uh, will help you out when it comes to HP scaling. Honestly, I'll probably get the item last. Yeah, I'll get Steric's after I get ZZ Rod. I just need the extra help pushing. As you can see, it'll it would actually help me out a bit. Okay, I don't want to get caught. I don't want to get caught here. <laughs> Definitely not. God is slow pushing. I can pretty much handle anybody, man. I can handle. I'm level 17, man. <laughs> I'm level 17, 25 minutes in, man. Drop that like button, y'all. I appreciate it a ton. They really can't handle me. <laughs> they can't do anything. <laughs> There's nothing they can do, man. Holy. That was some damage is coming out right there. That's what I like to see. We got ZZ Rock. We snowballing at this point. We really are. I'm happy about that. I hope I'm recording, man. I will not be uh, happy if I'm not recording this game. I'm pretty sure I am. Looks like the team got that, though. You know? It's a GG right there. GG. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, you know, I'd appreciate it if you shared this video with other people if you think they would find it helpful, if they really wanted an Udyr build to check out, it's the best one out there, it really is. As you can see, it's done me pretty well, like I've climbed the Platinum 2 with this build alone, you know. There we go. We're 9 and 3 finishing off the game. Level 18, 26 minutes in. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Plus 50. And yeah, it's been legit. See you guys. Peace. That was a good one.